Hey everyone, Jay Cottrell here with LPT Realty. It's Monday, which means it's time for another edition of Real Estate Talk with Jay. So this week, it's pretty much steady as she goes. We've seen a little, a lot of things kind of level off this week, except for one thing. So what do you say we go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? All right, so let's take a look at new listings. Those appear that uh, that rate has appeared to have leveled off a bit, though it is still below the weekly average from last year. If you look at the number of active listings on the market, slight decrease this week, but it appears to have kind of plateaued for a bit and it is holding steady. And that's because of really because of new listings. Um, those are those are with the increase in new listings, it has helped keep uh, inventory sort of steady where it's at which is unfortunately still really low. List prices for newly listed homes um, is, is holding somewhat steady. We've seen a little bit, of, a little bit of up and down over the last few weeks, but it seems to have leveled off a bit as well. Closings down this week, but up from previous week. So that appears to be somewhat stabilizing, though we're still trying to clear out homes that uh, went under contract at the uh, beginning of the year and the end of last year. Sales prices, however, if we look at the homes that sold last week, um, we've seen a two week decline in prices. But again, I don't know that that's necessarily signaling any, any huge decrease in the market. That is still getting through those closings that, again, those homes that went under contract towards the end of the year, um, beginning of January, uh, where people, there wasn't a whole lot of buyers out, so buyers were able to get decent deals. I really would wanna see how this looks going into March to really get a good idea of what the what the prices are gonna look like this year. There always tends to be this little dip in sales prices where um, buyers that actually are out looking during the holidays and during the last of the year, tend to get better deals than, than at any other time during the year. So no surprise, but definitely want to keep an eye on that to see what prices continue to do. So along with that, if we look at price reductions, um, there are fewer homes that sold last week at a reduced price. There's still fewer homes listed at a reduced price than what we had seen most of last year. However, the ones that did sell at a reduced price, they got a pretty big bump in savings compared to previous weeks. So even though a, even though a smaller amount sold at a reduced price, the ones that did at a reduced price got almost a 7% discount on, on the average, or sorry, um, as far as the median goes. Now let's take a look at the one thing that did not hold steady this week, pending sales. Look at that graphic. The number of pending sales continues to increase. And really the throttle there is the number of new listings coming on the market. So if I, I would predict if we had a ton of new listings hit the market, let's just say we doubled the amount that we've seen over the previous weeks, we would see the represent increase, uh, a representative increase in the amount of pending sales as well. So the throttle really for, for, for home buying activity is the inventory and the number of new listings entering the market. So hope you find that information interesting and helpful. It really, I really, I feel like it gives people a better idea of what they need to do to buy a home in this market and what to expect if they list their home. Again, I would like to be the first call of anybody that you know that's looking to buy or sell a home or other property. And also let's do the uh, required YouTube closeout please like and subscribe to this video and we hope to see you again. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.